Hey everyone, um, I thought I would hop on here and just show you real quick how I do a mirror edit. Um, and I'm going to be using the app called Pick Monkey, P I C. Um, I do pay for an upgraded version of this app. I think it's like $14.99 a month, $13, $14.99 a month, something like that. Um, and I've, I've had people ask me, can you do it in the free version? Honestly, I haven't had the free version. Like as soon as I got it, I think I upgraded because there were certain things I was trying to do that I found I couldn't in the free version and I wasn't even mirror editing yet. So anyway, um, I do pay for the upgraded version. There may be other apps out there. I don't know. In fact, I will look into that soon because um, I honestly only use PicMonkey to edit mirrors. And so I feel like I'm paying for it just to edit the mirrors because um, I usually use Lightroom for editing everything else. So just, I'm going to do this real quick here. I'm going to show you an image. So here's what it looks like, obviously. I'm going to click, I've already uploaded my image to PicMonkey. Um, I'm going to hit edit image. So this is what it looks like just without the mirror edit. It's in my garage there. Okay. And so it's pretty simple. I'm going to do, you're going to go over here to photos and videos right over here. Okay, add photo or video. Now you can sure upload, you can grab an image from Google or somewhere else and upload your own image, but the um, stock photos here have a variety of great photos that you can scroll through. Um, I use like a brick wall. I don't, I don't, I'm just gonna type in brick wall here in the search, see if I can find the original brick wall that I used, which was, uh, maybe it was this one. I think it was this one here. So you're just gonna click on it, add image. Okay, so it puts it right over, I'm gonna move this little guy out of the way for a second. You will need that though. Puts it right over your mirror, or your uh, your whole photo, obviously. And I'm gonna kind of place it where I think I generally want it. And you can obviously resize this, which is what you're gonna wanna do so it's not so big. And then change the transparency. So over here, this fade, watch, it's gonna fade it out so I can see my mirror. That way I can really decide where I wanna place it. I don't really want these chairs in this little, um, there's like a countertop in the photo. So I'm gonna put it right about there. Again, I'm looking at my mirror as to what I'm gonna see in the mirror. Oh wait, there's another countertop thing. Uh, okay, let's make this bigger. I probably could have grabbed a brick wall without having stuff in it okay so that looks pretty good and you're going to keep it at that faded because you're going to want to go around your mirror now and erase all of this so i'm going to keep it at that about that transparency now over here you're going to hit your erase and there's different erasers there's a circle a square triangles um i found a new trick with this one for now i'm going to use the circle and here's what my size looks like you can go back over to your image so you can see the size that's i'm going to make it really big for now because I'm going to kind of just get all this other stuff gone first. Um, and then there's hardness, size, strength. Hardness is just, I don't know how to explain, how to explain it. Um, it's more of like how much it's erasing. You want it to erase, you know, all of this. There's like almost like a, there's a, how to explain it. It erases it so it's not so harsh, if that makes sense. That's when you would change that hardness um, so it's not such a crisp or not such a clean, clean line. So the, you just want, if you want like a softer blend, that's when you would, um, you would decrease the hardness. So for now, I just use that big, big, big eraser. Made sure I cleaned up all around the edges here. Or the bigger spots, I should say, around the mirror. Okay. Now I'm going to make that smaller and I want it to be softer. So I'm going to actually lower this hardness down by quite a bit. And I'm going to zoom in actually having a mouse. I'm, I don't have a mouse on me right now, but that is going to be much easier. So you're really going to want to zoom in and now you really want to clean up the detailing around the mirror. And then every once in a while, I'll go back and I'll adjust it just to make sure um, 
that that looks pretty clean. Okay, that I'm not erasing, overly erasing. If you make a mistake, like you go like this and you got a bunch of your mirror, you can hit this little undo button down here and fix it, okay? So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna fade that out a little bit more so I can just kind of see my mirror and see the picture I'm trying to erase. Um, let's see, good. I'm just gonna do this quickly. I'm not gonna do it just perfect, just so you guys get the idea. This one's tricky because I have these flowers. So I'm gonna show you a couple little tricks I learned. Here in a second. Okay, here's where that triangle eraser is gonna come in handy. Uh, let's see, I think I can flip it. You can rotate it. See, that comes in real handy. Okay, so back to my circle. Just gonna erase everything on here. Okay, so I'm going to show you this. Doing these flowers is very hard. You wouldn't want the circle. You wouldn't want the square. So I use this little guy. It's like a pin, okay? And it almost creates this, like, um, I don't know how to explain it. And you want to have that strength, way, or sorry, the strength and the hardness way down here. It's just going to be like a feathered, and I'm just going to, let me turn it up a little bit more. And that size way down. I have to adjust that a little bit more. I'm going to change my transparency here in a second and see what it looks like. I like it feathers it so you can still see the florals. Let's go back to this so we can look at it. See that? See how it's like allowing me to see the florals, but it's not creating these harsh lines around the flower. Because it's going to be impossible to go around every single flower, right? Um, so this takes a little bit of time. But this just, like I said, I'm just holding down my mouse and just kind of moving it. Or my clicker, I mean, on my computer. This isn't perfect by any, oh, see, and I've got a little crazy right there. So hit the undo, it did, it did, I did lose. It auto saves, so like if I click off, up here it's saving. So that way you don't lose all of your work. It saves it periodically for you. Okay, so there you kind of get the gist. I'm just gonna end up showing you the after photo, but we'll fade that back out, but see, see how what I mean? So it's not perfect. I can still see some of the brick behind there, but it just kind of simply feathers it. Um, so, you know, when it's zoomed back out, you really don't notice it. So the after photo is, let me see if I can find it. Um, Well, I have a few of them, but here's the after photo. I'll zoom in for you. So there it is. Not bad, right? All right, guys. Well, I hope that that helped. Um, you learn how to edit some mirrors. All right, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day.